Imagine exploring a city that has remained hidden for centuries, a place rich with gold, myth, and the remnants of an ancient civilization. In shadow of the Tomb Raider, Lara Croft leads us to Paititi. But as you dive deeper into the game, you realize this city holds secrets far beyond its golden walls. Stay with me until the end, and I'll reveal not just the hidden treasures of Paititi's gameplay, but also the real-world mysteries that continue to captivate explorers today, and perhaps even uncover a deeper hidden connection to one of the most powerful institutions in the world. Is Petiti a real place? Petiti isn't just a backdrop in shadow of the Tomb Raider, it's a real legend that has haunted the minds of explorers for centuries. Known as a lost city of gold, similar to El Dorado, Petiti is said to be hidden deep in the rainforests of southeastern Peru or Bolivia. But is Petiti the same as El Dorado? While both Paititi and El Dorado share the theme of a hidden city brimming with gold, they are different legends. El Dorado refers to a mythical land of gold in northern South America, while Paititi is specifically tied to Incan history. Historically, Paititi has been linked to the Inca Empire, rumored to be the final refuge of the Inca as they fled from the Spanish conquistadors. But here's where the myth takes hold. Many believe that Paititi wasn't just a city, it was the final resting place of the Inca Emperor's treasures. Untouched by the Spanish, it's said to hold vast wealth. This legend inspired countless expeditions with the most recent plan for 2024, where new technology may finally uncover the ruins of this mythical city. It's this same sense of wonder that Shadow of the Tomb Raider taps into blending history, myth and gameplay into a single narrative thread. In Shadow of the Tomb Raider, after a series of daring escapes, Lara finally stumbles upon Patiti, a city that feels alive, pulsing with the history of the Inca civilization. But where is Patiti located? In the game, Paititi is hidden deep in the Peruvian Amazon, an isolated and self-sustained city built into the jungle. This reflects the actual historical theories, as many researchers believe Paititi may be hidden somewhere in the remote areas of southeastern Peru or western Brazil, shielded by dense jungle and mountainous terrain. Let's answer some common questions about the gameplay. Can I play Shadow of the Tomb Raider first? Yes, you can play Shadow of the Tomb Raider without playing the previous two games. However, the story builds upon events from the prior installments, so it's helpful to know the background. What is Shadow of the Tomb Raider about? The game follows Lara Croft as she attempts to stop a Mayan apocalypse she accidentally triggers while facing the shadowy organization Trinity and uncovering the hidden city of Paititi. Where does Shadow of the Tomb Raider take place? The game is set primarily in the Peruvian Amazon, with Paititi being the central location. Other key environments include jungles, caves and Mayan and Incan ruins. Which skills should I get first in Shadow of the Tomb Raider? Prioritize skills like Raposa's Wit for faster resource gathering, Serpent Strike for stealth kills, and Eagle Sight for locating hidden items. These are vital early on. How long is Shadow of the Tomb Raider? The game takes around 12, 15 hours to complete the main story, with additional time needed for side quests and full exploration, bringing the total to about 20, 25 hours. The first view of Paititi in the game is breathtaking. A sprawling city built into the lush jungle where ancient stone structures are reclaimed by nature. But what lies beneath these structures is even more compelling. The Inca stonework you encounter throughout the city is a marvel of ancient architecture. The Incas were known for their precision, carving stones so meticulously that they fit together without mortar, creating structures that could withstand earthquakes. In Paititi, this is reflected in the game through massive temples and shrines, but it also hints at something deeper, the Inca's connection to both their gods and the earth. Dot, one of the most important structures you find early on is a temple dedicated to Pachamama, the Earth Mother. This reflects the Inca's reverence for nature, their belief that mountains, rivers and even stones were sacred. In the game, these temples are not just places of worship, but also sites of puzzles, where you must use Lara's intelligence to decode ancient symbols, often in the Quechua language. These symbols are drawn from real Incan cosmology, such as the Chakana or Incan cross, a representation of the three realms of existence, Hanan Pacha, the upper world of the gods, Kei Pacha, the world of the living, and Ukhu Pacha, the underworld. To truly appreciate Paititi, you have to understand the power of Inca architecture. 
The megalithic stonework, seen in places like Machu Picchu, is known for its symbolic alignment with the cosmos. The game mirrors this attention to detail, with several temples reflecting the Inca's astronomical knowledge. The use of sacred geometry, especially the trapezoid shapes, wasn't just for aesthetics. These shapes were believed to stabilize the structures against earthquakes, while also symbolizing the balance between the divine and human worlds. In Shadow of the Tomb Raider, one of the most intricate designs you explore is the Temple of the Sun. This site is loaded with symbolism, from the sun disk at its center to the light puzzles that reveal hidden paths. The Incas believed the sun was the divine ruler of the heavens, and this structure is a nod to Inti, the Incan sun god. It's not just an architectural marvel, it's a spiritual center. But Paititi also holds another darker secret. As you progress, you encounter the cult of Kukulkan, a group trying to manipulate the city's inhabitants into submission. This parallels real-world conquest when indigenous cultures were forced to adapt or perish. The game carefully blends history with myth, showing the tensions between preserving traditions and embracing power, a theme that dominated the real Inca struggle as they faced the Spanish invasion. In Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Paititi is filled with monolithic structures and ancient artifacts, many of which are inspired by real-world Incan craftsmanship. As Lara delves into these crypts, she finds ancient inscriptions, stele and stone monoliths, which are key to solving many of the game's puzzles. These aren't just gameplay mechanics. They mirror actual Incan methods of communication and record-keeping. For instance, the stone monoliths in the game often require players to decode Quechua, the language of the Incas, to unlock their secrets. In reality, Quechua was the dominant language of the Inca Empire and is still spoken by millions in the Andes today. However, the written form, known as Quipu, a system of knotted strings, remains mostly undecoded, adding a layer of mystery to Incan history. In the game, we see an imaginative interpretation of what lost written languages might look like when etched into stone. The Sundial Puzzle One of the standout moments in the game involves solving an ancient Incan sundial. The Incas were master astronomers and their temples were often aligned with celestial events like solstices. Stone stelae Throughout Paititi, players encounter stelae, stone slabs carved with Incan iconography, believed to depict historical events or myths. These game elements are inspired by real stelae found at important Incan sites like Sacsayhuaman and Ollantaytambo, which bear witness to the empire's grandeur and spiritual beliefs. Chacana, Incan Cross. Another recurring symbol in the game is the Chacana, the Incan Cross, which represents the connection between the three realms of existence, Hanan Pacha, the upper world, Pacha, the world of the living, and Uku Pacha, the underworld. This cosmological symbol is used both in puzzles and as a key thematic element in Lara's journey through Paititi. In both the game and real life, the mystery of Paititi deepens with the legends of its inhabitants. The game presents a vision of a hidden society untouched by modernity, where the descendants of the Incas continue their traditions in secret. This mirrors the real-world myths of the Pukapakoris, the mysterious people said to guard Paititi. Known for their supernatural abilities, they are said to have protected the city from outsiders, ensuring that its secrets remain hidden. These people, if they ever existed, might be linked to ancient oral traditions passed down among the villagers of Pocartambo and the Cuero community, who still tell stories of Incari, the legendary king of the Incas. The game's crypts, riddled with hidden clues and ancient traps, feel like a tribute to this mythical king and his secret burial grounds. Ancient legends speak of the Pukapakoris, the mysterious people said to be the guardians of Paititi. These beings were thought to be semi-divine, fiercely protecting the city from outsiders. In shadow of the Tomb Raider, you can feel this presence as Lara delves deeper into the hidden corners of Paititi. The atmosphere becomes darker and the stakes higher. Historically, the Pucapacoris are tied to stories told by local communities near the Rio Madre de Dios, where explorers still search for traces of Paititi. One such legend tells of a cowboy named Florian Leacta, who stumbled upon ruins filled with treasures while searching for lost cattle in the early 1900s. As the legend goes, he never returned, either lost to the jungle or kept away by the city's mysterious protectors. One of the game's most fascinating threads revolves around the Incari myth, which states that the Inca king, after being defeated by the Spanish, retreated into Paititi, 
where he remains, waiting to rise again and reclaim his throne. In Andean mythology, Inkari is said to be both king and god, and his return would herald the rebirth of the Inca Empire. In the game, this belief runs deep among Paititi's inhabitants, some of whom still secretly worship the old ways awaiting the day when Inkari will rise again. In real life, stories of Inkari are still told in the villages near Cusco and in the Quero community, the supposed descendants of the Inca. In their version, Inkari lives in Paititi, watching over the city and waiting for the right moment to restore balance to the world. His presence is said to be undetectable by modern explorers. Only those with ancient knowledge can find him. But what if Paititi isn't just a legend or a video game location? Let's see the most frequently asked questions. Are Paititi mouthpieces good? In the game, mouthpieces, collectible items used by Paititi's inhabitants, offer an interesting glimpse into the city's cultural and religious history. While they play an important role in the game's atmosphere, in reality there's no evidence of mouthpieces being a part of Incan tradition. The game uses them as a symbol of power and status within the cult of Kukulkan, which adds another layer of myth to the gameplay. Where is Patiti located? In the game, Patiti is set in the Peruvian Amazon, which aligns with real-world theories. Some believe the lost city of Paititi is hidden deep within the jungles of southeastern Peru, though others argue it could be located in Bolivia or even Brazil. In the real world, explorers are still on the hunt for the lost city. In fact, as we speak, a new expedition is planned for 2024, using cutting-edge satellite imagery and LiDAR technology to scan the dense Amazon jungles where the legends of Paititi are most alive. Modern adventurers hope to uncover what centuries of treasure hunters could not, a city that could rewrite history. A quickfire list of real discoveries, fueling the Paititi search. The region around Madre de Dios in Peru has been a hotspot for legendary clues. Over the years, various discoveries have reignited the enthusiasm to locate the lost city of Paititi. 1979, Nicole and Herbert Cartagena stumbled upon Mamiria, a previously unknown Inca site deep within the Manu National Park filled with remnants of an Incan administrative center. The structures showed signs of extensive coca cultivation hinting at the Inca's strategic use of jungle resources. 1999. Gregory Diamengian's expedition. He uncovered stone ruins in the region believed to have been used for both agriculture and religious purposes. His find, especially the memoria site, was covered with ancient Quechua carvings that hinted at ceremonial significance. 2001. Mario Polia's discovery. An Italian archaeologist found a Jesuit manuscript in the Vatican archives that referenced the city of Paititi. The document described a large settlement rich with gold, hidden deep within the jungle, bringing renewed focus to the search. Monoliths and megaliths near the Madre de Dios River. Various archaeologists have reported finding scattered megalithic structures in the jungle, hidden by the forest canopy. These are theorized to be remnants of large-scale settlements or ceremonial sites related to the Inca's control of the region. Each of these discoveries adds fuel to the theory that Paititi is not just a myth, but a real lost Incan city that could hold the last vestiges of their civilization. The 2024 expedition aims to follow these clues deeper into the jungle, hoping to uncover new archaeological sites hidden beneath the thick Amazon canopy. We've explored the legends, the expeditions and the clues, all of which seem to point towards Peru, right? But what if I told you there's more to the story than just ancient ruins in the jungle? What if I told you that the Vatican, an institution steeped in centuries of hidden knowledge involved in countless mysteries like the Holy Grail, might hold a key to Paititi and the lost city of gold? In 2001, a Jesuit manuscript was discovered in the Vatican archives describing Paititi and its vast treasures. Why would the Vatican be interested in this city? And what do they know that we don't? The Vatican, one of the wealthiest institutions in the world, is rumored to have enough wealth to end global hunger six times over. Have you ever wondered where all that wealth comes from? Could it be that they know far more about hidden treasures like Paititi than we realize? Maybe the secrets of the lost city of gold aren't just buried in the jungle, but hidden in the vaults of history's most powerful institutions.